During a discussion concerning a possible exemption for lawmakers and staff members from taking part in the state health exchanges that's uh, mandated by Obamacare, Representative Phil Gingry, who's a Republican of Georgia, reportedly lamented that aides of his can become lobbyists, quote, and make $500,000 a year. Meanwhile, I'm stuck here making $172,000 a year. Whoa, man. Now think about that. You listening to the show right now, whatever your job is, whatever position you have in life, if I told you you can make a hundred thousand dollars a year or even eighty thousand dollars a year the rest of your life for doing something that is honorable well respected and that you should like what would you say you would jump at the opportunity right like oh my god six figures a hundred thousand dollars a year oh i'm in sign me up and i will be a loyal servant right look at this son of a bitch First of all, you got into politics. If you get into politics, in theory, you're supposed to do it for a love of the people. <laughs> That's a good one, Phil Gingry. Like, he gives a fuck about people. He doesn't give a fuck about anybody. He doesn't care about the people of Georgia. He doesn't care about the people of America. He's like, oh, you assholes making half a million dollars, I'm gonna be making $172,000. What is this bullshit? If you make $172,000, you are doing so much better than your uh, the median income. Look, in fact, I have the number right here. In Georgia, where he represents, the median income uh, per year, $49,736. This son of a bitch makes well more than double that, and he's complaining. Like, oh, fuck. You know, here I am in my cushy office in Washington, and I get to make decisions that affect... Uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. This sucks. I only make 172 grand for it. But look, the reason why I wanted to discuss this is because this shows you where the Republicans' heads are at. Now, I'm not saying the Democrats are good guys, but you got to understand. Uh, you got to keep things in perspective, right? I always say the Republicans are corrupt and crazy. The Democrats are just corrupt. <laughs> now, neither one of those things are good. But look at how unsavvy are you to actually say something like that? I don't give a, even if you thought it was a closed door meeting and you think you could trust everybody around you, what are you doing? But see, again, it shows you what their priorities are. They became politicians not for what the idea of a politician is and how good a, of a thing they could do and they could represent humanity and be a statesman and care about their people. No, no, no. He became a politician for a career, for, for him. Look, I got news for you, Phil Gingery. If that's the type of person you are, politics is not the field for you. Okay, get your ass to Wall Street. You'll fit in just fine over there. You're a selfish, greedy motherfucker has no, who has no concern for anybody else. And, uh, I mean, look, he's saying, I wish I could become a lobbyist. Now, let me ask you a question. Under what scenario, politicians used to be able to go straight to being lobbyists uh, after they were out of office. And they could still do it, but now they just have to give themselves different titles because they pass a law that says you can't be a lobbyist. Why? Because there was so much corruption. So what did you have to do to become a lobbyist? if you were a, a politician. Well, you sell out to all the different companies, and then when you leave, you have your pick of the litter. Who wants to hire me now? In fact, that's how it works. There's uh, former lobbyists who came out and talked about how the system works. They did, I remember they did it once on 60 Minutes. They had the guy come out, he said, you know what you do? You walk up to a congressperson, and you say, hey, look, I'm not saying anything, but when you get out of here, we might have a nice little million dollar position waiting for you if you play ball. So then what happens? Well, the politician, whatever bill comes up that would give a massive subsidy, which is a welfare check, to an already rich corporation, well, they're going to vote in favor of giving that welfare check over to that rich corporation. Why? Because they've been bought. They've been bribed. When you get out of here, I will pay you back. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. It's the good old boys club. And in the good old boys club, if you make $172,000 a year, you're like, oh, shucks. I want to make $500,000 or $1 million. Meanwhile, who are the suckers in the equation? You and me. Why? Because we're living regular lives, trying to make regular money, trying to be normal human beings, actually functioning within the system. And meanwhile, the people running the system are rigging the game against us. And if that's uh, not enough, 
USA Today reported that Gingri's net worth is estimated to be between $3 million and $7.6 million. So this guy's already a millionaire, lamenting the fact that he's making $172,000 a year. But it's okay, because the Republicans are the, the populist party and they care deeply about the middle class and the poor.